Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, remember last time we were looking at properties of quadratus. We were looking at properties of quadratus, and uh, remember we said uh, we said a quadrato is a four-sided figure. We said a quadrato is a four-sided figure, and among the quadratos we looked at, we said we had a square. A square is a quadrato. Two, we had a, a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrato. Three, we had um, a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrato. Uh, four, we had a parallelogram. A parallelogram is also a quadrato. Five, we have a kite. A kite is a quadrato. Six, six, we had um, we had a trapezium. A trapezium is also a quadrato. I've said um, a quadratos. Quadratos are four-sided figures. Those are figures that have four sides. So I've said one, we have a square, we have a rectangle, we have a rhombus, we have a parallelogram, and we have a kite. And if I remember, uh, last time we looked at um, uh, last time we looked at um, a square, we looked at properties of a square, we looked at properties of a rectangle, we looked at properties of a parallelogram. And we also looked at properties of a trapezium. So today we are going to look at the properties of a kite. We are going to look at the properties of a kite. Properties of a kite. Properties of a kite. So we are looking at properties. Properties of kite. Properties of a kite. Properties of a kite. Okay, first of all, we need to know, before we look at a kite, we need to look at the diagram of a kite. Illustration. How does a kite look like? How does a kite look like? This is the diagram of a kite. Kite. Uh, so a kite looks like that. So now we are going to look at the properties of a kite. One, um, we need to look at the properties. Property number one, it's a quadrato. It's a quadrato, or it's a four-sided figure. It is a four-sided figure. A kite is a four-sided figure. 
Okay. And remember, we say uh, four sided figures are mathematically called quadratos. And uh, uh, each adjacent sides are equal. It's adjacent. Adjacent sides are equal. Its adjacent sides are equal. Uh, that is to say, uh, that is to say, side the adjacent sides are equal. Side AB is equal to side BD. These sides that are adjacent are equal. That is to say, side AB, side AB is equal to side. AD. Uh, we also have other adjacent sides. Side BC is adjacent to side CD. So even those two are equal. So meaning that uh, side uh, meaning that side BC is equal to side CD. Meaning that uh, 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 we have said that property is that adjacent sides of a kite are equal. And then two opposite, two of the opposite angles are equal. Two of the opposite angles are equal. And two of the opposite of the opposite, two of the opposite angles. Two of the opposite angles of a kite are equal. Two opposite angles are equal. Two opposite angles of a kite are equal. Uh, I.e., that is to say, uh, angle B, angle B is equal to angle D. Uh, two opposite angles. This angle is equal to this angle, but this one is not equal to this one. Only two. I've said two of the opposite angles. Two of the opposite. Not meaning that not all of them. This one is not equal to this one, but this one is equal to that one. So uh, two of the opposite angles of a kind are equal. Now we go to diagonals. Its diagonals are not equal. Its diagonals, its diagonals, its diagonals, its diagonals are are not equal. Its diagonals are not equal. If the diagonals are not equal in length. Its diagonals are not equal. Its diagonals are not equal in length. Maybe the other in length. If the diagonals are not equal. When you look at its diagonals, diagonal AD, AC is not equal to diagonal BD. The diagonals are not equal in length. Okay, that is to say, according to the diagram, diagonal AC, diagonal AC, diagonal. SC is not equal, is not equal to diagonal, is not equal to diagonal, is not equal to diagonal PD. Hey, the diagonals are not equal in length. Actually, when you look at them, you also you can also see that this one is too long and this one is too short. So diagonals of a kite are not equal. Then another one, which is the last one, diagonals, diagonals, diagonals of a kite, of a kite, diagonals of a kite bisect each other, bisect each other. Bisect each other. 
at 90 degrees. A to bisect is to divide into two equal parts. To bisect is to divide to to bisect to the bisect is to divide each other. So when as the diagonals meet, they bisect each other at 90 degrees. Are we together? Okay, lastly, interior angles. Interior angles. Interior angles of a kite. Interior angle of a kite. Add up to, add up to 360 degrees. Interior angles of a kite add up to 360 degrees. I.e. angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degrees. Okay. Meaning that when you add all the angles, uh, this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle, they add up to 360 degrees. So, um, uh, those are the properties of a kite. Those are the properties of a kite. And now we go to a rhombus. We go to a rhombus. I think you must have understood the property of a kite. Now we are going to do something else. We are going to do something else. Properties of, we are now going to look at aromas. Properties of aromas. We are going to look at the properties of aromas. Properties of aromas. Properties of aromas. And we need to draw aromas and see how it looks like. Hey, we are trying. We are trying to draw the diagram of aromas. Uh, this is aromas. So that is A, B, C, and E. Okay, that is our rhombus. That is our rhombus. That is our rhombus. Uh, 
Uh, that is around us. Let us go straight to the properties. Property number one, it's, it's a four-sided figure. It's a four-sided figure. A rhombus is a four-sided figure. A rhombus is a four-sided figure. The sides are four of a rhombus. And all its sides are equal. All the sides of a rhombus, all its sides are equal. All its sides are equal. Uh, that is to say, side A, side AB is equal to side BC is equal to side CD is equal to side DA. Uh, when you look at the diagram, all the sides of a rhombus are equal. That is to say, side AB is equal to side BC is equal to side CD is equal to side DA. So now another property is um, another property is um, another property is that opposite sides of a rhombus are parallel. Opposite sides, opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides of a rhombus are parallel to each other. Opposite sides of a rhombus are parallel to each other. I.e., that is to say, looking on the diagram, uh, side A B, a side yes. A B is parallel to side DC and and the side and the side AB is parallel to side BC. A opposite side of a rhombus are parallel. And now we go to we go to the diagonals. Its diagonals are not equal. Its diagonals, its diagonals, its diagonals are not equal. The diagonals are not equal. Its diagonals are not equal. The avenues of a rhombus are not equal to each other. Are not equal. I.e., that is to say, that is to say, diagonal AC, AC is not is not equal to diagonal DB is not equal is not equal to diagonal BD is not equal to diagonal BD. So the diagonal of a rhombus are not equal. Uh, then we have another point. It's, it's diagonals. It's diagonals Bisect, bisect each other. These diagonals bisect each other at a right angle. At a right, at a right angle. Oh, what I mean here by the right angle that is nine ten degrees. As the diagonals meet, they divide it themselves into two equal lines. 
they divide themselves into two equal lengths. Uh, that is what I mean by section. But remember, they are not equal in length. Diagonal AC is of different length, and uh, BD is of different length. They do not have the same length much as they bisect each other. As they meet, they divide themselves into two equal length. Okay, now, we go to its interior angles. Its interior angles. Interior means the inside. Its interior angles. Interior angles of a rhombus. Its interior angles. Its interior angles add up to. Add up to. 360 degrees. The angles inside the rhombus add up to 360 degrees. I.e., that is to say, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degrees. Interior angles add up to 360 degrees. Okay, so now that is a rhombus. Again, something to do with a rhombus. Uh, it's, it's opposite angles. It's opposite, it's opposite angles. It's opposite angles. Its opposite angles are equal. The opposite angle of a rhombus are equal. A meaning uh, that is to say, i.e., angle A, I follow the diagram, angle A is equal to angle C. A, because this angle is opposite this angle. And this angle is opposite this one. That means this one is equal to that one. Opposite angles are equal. And you're saying angle A is equal to angle C. Angle A is equal to angle C. And angle B, angle B is also equal to angle D. So now, uh, we have looked at pro two properties of two quadratus today. We have looked at the properties of a kite, and we have also looked at the properties of a rhombus. So meaning that next time when we are going to look at area, it will be easy for us because we now know what they are. So those are the properties of the quadratus. So now, so now we meet next time in the next lesson whereby we shall looking at area of different quadrants.